All right, guys, let's continue. All right, <coughs> so for the last ring, yeah, it tells you to hold L1 because you do need to do a launch jump to get up there. I almost didn't make it up there. But yeah, just make your way up this little path to the top of this hill here. And then that's the last one. This is the hardest one. So you jump off, and then you gotta jump through all these trees. Yeah, this is the hardest one. You'll see why. So yeah, it basically takes you around the entire forest. But yeah, there's a lot of obstacles that you gotta get through. You gotta grind across a bunch of rails. And then here's where it gets tricky. Because you have to make these jumps. Yeah, those three jumps right there. If you miss any of those jumps, it's very difficult to recover and get back in time. In fact, I think it's actually impossible. Well, I don't know. I've never actually had to do that. But yeah. Anyway, that's the last one. So you can just make your way down towards the pillars here. Alright. Then you just jump up on these pillars. And like... The fifth one is so unnecessary, because you can just jump up here from the fourth one. So yeah, I just found that weird. Exit and I'm having trouble. I think it's this way. It's gotta be, right? Yeah. Yeah, I tend to have trouble finding the exit to the forest a lot. Because there's, especially when there's no mini map. But, yeah. <coughs> anyway, so that's it for that mission. Now we just get on a zoomer. Alright, and now we have to go all the way back to Freedom HQ. So you know what we're going to do? Since it's such a long drive, we're going to go into first person for it. Let's enjoy the ride here. Do a little Star Tours action here. And I always like staying in the low hover zone for that. A long way back to Freedom HQ. But yeah, we'll eventually get there. And I think we might actually be finishing the second act in this video. I don't know. We might. Yeah, anyway, this is probably going to be the last video I do today. Because I want to get all these uploaded before I leave. And I'm going out to see Mortal Engines sometime tonight, so, yeah, actually pretty soon, actually, hopefully I'll have enough time to upload, Ugh. I'm gonna be cutting it really close, it's like, yeah, 6.45 right now, the movie's at, like, I think the movie's at 8 o'clock, or it might be right at, a little after 8, I don't know, but yeah, either way, I do want to get these uploaded before seeing Mortal Engines, so this will be the last one I do today. Well, it'll definitely be the last one I upload today. I might film later tonight. I don't know. It really depends. I'd like to at least get through the second act. 
but yeah. Now, this is the cool thing about it. I was in high hovers on that whole time. I don't know why I was not in low. Kind of feed the purpose. Oh, okay. Let's not do that again. And yeah, now the battle's up in New Haven as well. It wasn't in New Haven before, but now it is. Yeah, New Haven can be hard or difficult in the low hover zone. Or navigate in the low hover zone. Because... Yeah. Yeah, like all these walls and stuff. Anyway, here we are back at HQ. go into the war factory so that'll be fun it's actually not a lot of fun it's kind of a tough mission actually <laughs> reminds me a lot of like the sewer missions the second and third sewer missions because they're just going to be facing a lot of kg bots but yeah anyway just make your way around here the first part of this mission's fun I can actually get in without anybody shooting me. There you go. Yeah, this mission's pretty fun because you get to you get to be to fly the blue Freedom League Hellcat cruiser. All right. So yeah, this first part here, this is this mission's three parts. This first part here, you're trying to destroy those 16 yellow lights that you see there. I recommend just firing a bomb with L1 into like those red tower things, and then that'll destroy the first 16. Now these are these next 16 are much more spread out. Usually that's not ideal for destroying them, just running into them, but it will work. There you go. All right, we are mowing through it. But yeah, you got your health bar on the lower part. You can use X to accelerate. This thing can make pretty tight turns, so that's nice. It also breaks pretty well. But yeah, you got your gun with R1, all that good stuff. Yeah. It's kind of like flying a Hellcat Cruiser, only it's a lot more agile than the ones in Jack 2. Yeah, because the ones in Jack 2 are just slow, not agile at all. But yeah, you can use the mini-map on the lower right. Those yellow dots are what you're looking for. Also, you can kind of see them from far away, just a yellow light, and I just ran directly into a ship. But yeah, you can also destroy ships with your gun here. Where is it? It's around here. I just ran into another ship. There it is. Alright, now this part's kind of tricky. What you want to do, look at the red dots, see those things opening up? Fire a bomb at it. That did not work, I don't know why. But yeah, you have a limited number of bombs. But yeah, you just want you have to fire a bomb into it, I think. They will fire their little shots at you. They don't do too much damage though if they hit you. So you don't really need to worry about it. And there we go. And 
and that's it. So we took out, we took down the War Factory defense system. Yeah, pretty fun mission. Not too hard. The second part's probably the hardest, just because you have to find where all those little lights were, find out where all the 16 lights are. Yeah, first part and third part are ridiculously easy. You just fire bombs in each of them. Alright. Now we are inside the war factory, and I definitely recommend arming yourself with the arc wielder here. At least to start with. Yeah. yeah so just take the elevator down. And then you're gonna come across a bunch of KG bots. So yeah. yeah as you can see, even though I have the peacemaker, I actually haven't used it yet. You can use the peacemaker. You can use the RPG. You can use whatever gun you want. I just find the arc wielder to be the most useful, along with the beam reflexor. Although there are a couple points where I think the RPG are very useful. Same with the gyro burster. So yeah. Anyway, we're now getting to some more Daxter time moments. There's four of them on this mission. There were two in the volcano mission, and okay, that was cheap. I spawn and immediately get shot. That was really cheap. All right. Anyway, just come over here, hit that lever. Yeah, and that's literally it for the first da Daxter time. Okay, Jack. Yeah, the dex times kind of get harder as they go on. Here, I'd actually arm yourself with a gyro burster. And if I could actually get up there, that'd be great. Are you going to let me up? Wow. Can I... I guess I'm using... Give me some room here. Gosh. But yeah. Can you go away, please? For real? Those flying robots are the most annoying enemy in this game, I swear. Because they'll just follow you forever, too. Like, I've been hit by them over here. Like, see, I just got shot at. Right there. Like, go away. I'll get the arc wielder back out. Actually, we're actually at the second Daxter time now, so. Yeah. Alright, so this Daxter time's a little bit harder because now you have these little electrical pulses that you need to dodge. Yeah. I'll just hold here, wait for it to go. And there we go. But yeah, it's only two of them. It's still pretty easy. And then you just make your way to the end here. And then come down, hit the lever. And then you just gotta wait for the platforms to come back. Ooh, that was dangerous. Yeah, these platforms are fast. Alright. So yeah, just make your way across here. This is where I'd arm yourself with either the gyro burster or the RPG. I've got the RPG. And then you just, boom. Are you kidding me? Wow. Well, I got those guys on over there. But yeah, you just have to keep firing until those come out. At this point, just arm yourself with the beam reflexor or the gyro burster. And then just make a beeline for that, die through it. Arc wielder. And then, yeah. The needle laser works pretty well, too. Not quite as good, I don't think. But yeah, you can use it if you want. Or the Peacemaker. Like, yeah, the Peacemaker just has such little ammo at this point. You only have five shots. So yeah, I'm actually going to use the Needle Laser here. 
Just because I don't use the needle laser that much. I feel like it's an underappreciated gun. So I'm going to use it a little bit more. Although I'm actually going to chip wood up these because there's no robots that are trying to chase me right now. The easier you have that conveyor belt. And then we're into Daxter time number three. And now you have to dodge flamethrowers in addition to electrical pulses. And these electrical pulses are a little bit hard to dodge, but the way to do that is just kind of go in a zigzag pattern here. And just make a mad dash. So yeah, because yeah, the electrical pulses, they have a zigzag pattern, so yeah, if you just went in like the opposite zigzag pattern, that'll work. Then you just hit the lever, jump down, back on Jack's shoulder. And prepare to arm yourself. Dive through this. And then you actually dive straight into the fourth Daxter time, pretty much. Turn up the volume a little bit. We could actually turn it up. Come on, there we go. Alright. So yeah, a couple more zigzag electrical pulses and now you get to the flamethrower chase section now what you could do like what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna risk it and you could shoot the gap it's a very small gap but it is possible I'm gonna do it again here yeah yeah see I got through it just fine so you can do it it's possible but it is difficult Definitely don't try and shoot the gap if you're low on health. But anyway, we'll just hit that lever, line up those platforms, come over here. Get yourself armed with the arc wielder. And then you get on this car. Now this is basically just a knockoff tough puppy type of vehicle, except you have unlimited turbos. Yeah, it handles pretty much like the Tough Puppy, though. But yeah, you'll definitely want to boost through some of these grates here. And hopefully don't steer yourself off, off a ledge. Unfortunately, sand, sand physics do have an effect here, which is really annoying. Because there's no sand. Alright, now this ledge is tricky. What you want to do here is back up as far as you can and then hit the turbo off that jump. Because if you miss that, you're going to fall down into the, into your death. And then I'll use the turbo there because I wasn't sure if I would make it across that little jump. But just come over here. And then get on that elevator. Yeah, this is another one of those long missions. Hmm. But luckily... Let's see, is there ammo I can pick up here? No, okay. Luckily it is the end of it. So you just make your way over here. I found some new friends to help me conquer this puny little planet. Talking to the Dark Makers. It seems my digital self can communicate with these poor, tortured minds quite well. Oh, they're just like you and me, Jack. Well, me at least. They want a home, someone to call a friend. Destruction of all my ego. They volunteered to help me put this puny planet out of its misery. <laughs> You're in for a big surprise. The Dark Makers don't play nicely with others. Just ask the Metalheads. I've been given the opportunity to wield a power even the precursors cannot control. Don't fret. You won't live to see what I turn this little world into. Maybe a rock, or a floating puddle of slag, or nothing at all. It's company to play in. So hard to choose. I won't let you do this. Alright, so now we have to kick Cyber Arrow's butt. So yeah, this is the second boss fight. 
or main boss fight, I guess. So yeah, this first part here, he just shoots shots at you, just avoid the targets. Alright, then I recommend arming yourself with the Arc Wielder here, or the Beam Reflexor, although I actually recommend saving your Beam Reflexor for later in the fight, if you can. Like, see, I only have 130 shots, so... I'm just gonna use the arc with her. And keep an eye on where Cyber Arrow is, because you'll wanna you'll wanna know where he is. Like see right now he's under this little purple ring here. Because he's gonna send out a bomb at you. What you wanna do is you wanna kick it to the, you wanna kick it to where he is. So that'll hurt him. Alright, so that's the first stage. There's four stages in this boss, bo boss fight. So for these, the first part here, these shots have shock waves. So you want to jump. And then, and then he has the floor destroyer shots. And you can kind of tell what kind of shot he's going to fire at you based on the, cro the target. Like the crosshairs, I guess you could call them. Alright. Yeah, just make sure to keep an eye on your ammo here. Yeah, these guys will drop health packs, so make sure to pick them up if you're low on health at all. And then again, keep an eye on where Errol's at right now. He's under this green, this green ring here. Then when he sends the bombs out, like that, okay, I punched it, I don't know why it didn't hit him. There you go. And you'll have bombs coming from different directions as you saw there. You don't have to worry about that too much, as long as you're kicking, as long as you're close to him. Yeah. And always keep an eye on the holes in the ground as well. And especially like... Okay, he's gonna fire another shot shot here. But these shots, keep an eye on where they land, because yeah, there's gonna be holes in the ground that you can fall through, so just watch out. Now here I'm actually gonna get the needle laser out, because he sends out the flying guards at you. Actually, I don't need the needle laser just yet. But yeah, I like to use the needle laser on the flying guards sometimes. See, this is bringing out here. Yep, here we go. Okay, I don't know why none of my shots hit him. Come on. Come on, Needle Laser. Work with me. Alright. Alright, so now I get the bomb. Yeah, just keep spin kicking. That's what I recommend you do. Do the spin kick attack. Because that'll kick the other bombs that come at you away. Alright. Now this is where I definitely would recommend arming you with either the Beam Reflexor or the Gyro Burster. Either one works. But yeah. And yeah, here I'm like running out of room to run. Alright. So yeah, now... Because now he sends out Dark Makers at you. New enemy. It's the first time you fight them. Beam Reflexor takes care of them really well. And he'll send flying ones out at you too. So yeah, now he's under this purple ring. He was under the red ring last round. I forgot to mention that. But yeah, once you take care of the Dark Makers, with the Beam Reflexor or the Gyro Burster, just kick that last bomb at him. Troubling to see what Arrow is doing. 
I fear he may be trying to awaken that terrible dark ship before we can destroy it. Onan says the precursors and dark makers have fought over worlds for as long as time has turned. It would not be the first time a planet was lost to those monsters. Well, it's not going to be this planet. We've lasted this long. We've just got to find a way to destroy that thing. The truth lies at the bottom of the catacombs. That's where I need to go. Alright, so that is the end of the second act. Act 2. And we get a new weapon, the Mass Inverter. That's the second mod to the Peacemaker. And I'm going to show you what it does right here because it's really cool. So yeah, I'm going to show you what it does real quick. Alright. Yeah, basically anything caught in its range is going to get sent floating. It's really cool. Unfortunately, the zoomer also took damage. Anyway, we're now going to the opposite side of the game, pretty much. We have to go all the way to the Monk Temple. I don't even know if I'm going to make it all the way there in this part. Especially if I keep going the wrong way like this. But yeah, we're, just, we're going to the opposite side of the game, and I'm staying in the high hover zone because I always tend to screw myself over in the low hover zone in New Haven. Alright, now we're back in the low hover zone. Yeah, I'm not going to go into first person on the way to Monk Temple, just because that makes it very difficult to drive, and a lot more dangerous as well. So yeah, we'll just make our way all the way down to the air train here. But yeah, we are now in the third act of the game. And it's a really short third act compared to Jack 2. Like We're like 80% of the way through the game. So yeah, we're very close to the end. Alright, so we got like three minutes left. We're definitely not going to make it all the way to Monk Temple. But we'll see how close we get. Yeah, we're literally going to the opposite side of the game. Like, I actually don't know my fastest time, like, all the way to Monk Temple. I, I think I've done it in under five minutes before, but it's really difficult to do it that fast. Especially if you're doing what I'm doing. Alright, I'm actually going to go into high, how it's only come out of third person, or first person here. Because, yeah... Alright, we'll at least get into Spargus, so there's that. Get on the jet board. We need to make our way to the garage. Yeah, we got like a minute and a half left. We're not gonna make it. <laughs> but yeah, the third act of this game is like it's short, but it's also really difficult. I mean, really difficult. Like those dark makers that you saw at the at the fourth round of the arrow fight there. Yeah, they're the main enemy of this game now. Not the marauders. Not the KG bots. Not the, not metalheads, dark makers. They take forever to kill. They have shields, and their shots do a ton of damage to you. So, yeah. And there's flying ones as well, which are even harder to kill. And if you could get off me, that'd be great. All right, we got less than a minute left. So we'll see how close we get. We'll just use our little rock rocket strats here. And we'll make our way into the town ruins. I guess that's what you could call them. Make our way across that, but yeah, in the next part, hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to get everything filmed and uploaded, and Jack 3 will be good to go. At least in the main game. Bonus parts might be another day. Anyway, we're getting to the end here, so... Three, 
two. One, see ya.